it's extremely stressful. There's a lot of worried people. You can, you can cut the air with a knife in there. Um, the tension is so thick. The company has spent over a quarter million dollars installing video surveillance throughout the plant basically every 40 feet. I go into work knowing that my every move is being monitored. It's intimidating to know that somebody's watching your every single move. If you're standing talking to somebody about the job, they don't know you're talking to somebody about the job. They just see you standing there talking. And that's their mindset. Their mindset is that you're doing nothing. And there is no legislation in place in Ontario to protect the workers. Caterpillar come in with a 70% pay cut massive reduction in holidays. All of the other benefits that we have achieved through the years were basically either slashed or wiped out. This began when the company gave their proposals to the union, which threatens to slash our wages in half, take away our benefits, pensions, parental, uh, you name it. They, they want to gut the whole, the whole system. We're facing the toughest times because corporations see a free reign on attacking unions. Bottom line is the, the present government, which is now Stephen Harper, which quite frankly even the Liberals before, were free traders. They always were free traders. If we go back to Brian Mulroney, Canada's open for business. So you have this free trader mentality. How many times did we hear it during the federal election? Let's give major tax breaks to corporations and they'll create jobs. Well. This plant's gonna get a major tax break, and what are they threatening to do? Move out of the country. As long as you keep electing lawyers who represent only themselves in big business, you will never, ever get any help, ever. There's this mentality that we're not gonna interfere with capitalism. We're not gonna interfere with the right to make a profit because it's better for everybody. The only people we see it better for is the rich and powerful, and working people are getting hit everywhere. If Electromotive does close its doors, it's not just the 650 workers on the floor that will be affected. It will also be over 200 management people in the office, not to mention the local suppliers in the area, the supply parts. There's gonna be th three locations of Tim Hortons in the area that will lay off if Electromotive closes its doors. We've worked hard to get where we are. There's an incredible skill set, and uh, it just seems like that doesn't matter to them. These people don't have compassion. They don't care. They just don't give a damn. They're corporately greedy. They will take, 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 take. Mm. And they'll never stop. They'll never stop. I hate to say it, but you're gonna end up with a revolution at some point because people will only take so much. <laughs>